Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Arizona lawmakers debating a new bill that proposes the harshest penalties for those convicted of supplying fentanyl pills to another person, which leads to that person's death. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live from the Capitol with details. This fentanyl crisis is out of hand, no doubt. It is, and lawmakers are trying to do something to curb it. So under Senate Bill 1029, anybody who knowingly distributes or sells fentanyl pills to another person who then ends up dying from a fentanyl overdose, well, the original person who gave those pills could face a felony first-degree murder charge. And here in Arizona, that comes with the steepest penalties punishable by death or life in prison. So far this year, the state of Arizona has reported more than 160 opioid overdoses, and at least one of them was deadly. That averages to about six overdoses per day since the beginning of 2023. It's a crisis, and we've got to, to do something. We've got to deter this crisis. So that's why I ran the bill. I was happy to sponsor it. State Senator Anthony Kern introduced legislation that would fight fentanyl with a Class 1 felony making fentanyl suppliers eligible for the death penalty. If you're dealing in fentanyl and uh, someone gets killed or someone someone dies, um, you know, and it's traced back to you as a dealer, I absolutely think you should pay that, that price and it should be a class one felony, yes. Recently, a dealer in Yavapai County who was accused of selling fentanyl to a Prescott man that died was arrested and is now facing a charge of negligent manslaughter, a lower felony that does not carry a death or life sentence. Several people spoke out against the bill during Thursday's hearing. Basically, it doesn't differentiate between accidental overdose and intentional homicide. So basically, it takes people who are just using drugs and possessing drugs, and specifically fentanyl, and if they provide any sort of medication or any sort of fentanyl or anything that has uh, uh, fentanyl present in it, and they give it to somebody else and they die, suddenly they're looking at first-degree murder charges. The bill passed 4-3 in the Senate Judiciary Committee along party lines, with four Republicans voting yes and three Democrats voting no. And SB 1029 is moving through the state legislature. Eventually, it'll be heard on the Senate floor. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.